August 21st. We're going to get you to. That's right. Another one bit to dust. In fact, a couple of them bit to dust, didn't they? Let's see if we can just this out a little bit here. It's the day after the election, August 21st. And what do you think about that? So let's do the rundown. As expected, Matt Getz and Rick Scott carried the big seats. The biggest winner at the local level was Gary Greger with an absolute crush as far as Walton County goes. Congratulations to Gary on four more years. Gary's one of the proud, uh, like the supervisor of elections office, uh, doesn't have lawsuits and uh, all kind of other things, extracurricular activities going on in there. And it's, it's nice to see such a good organization run. Good luck on your next four, four years there in the, in uh, Gary's office. Uh, well, Aaron Murray came out of nowhere, a resident of Walton County, and put about 35% on the board when people thought he couldn't even scratch the surface. About 5,000 people, I'm not going to get into the detailed statistics, you can look them up and see them how you want, about, about 5,000 people, all Republicans, basically told the sheriff, I hope you were listening, Mike, that we don't like it. And I'll tell you, if they'd have saw all the stuff before early voting, and somebody could have sent them the Alan Osborne show by mail, all the people that didn't see it, and they could have read the information, it'd have been worse than that. It was a statement, because the brand of the Walton County Sheriff's Department is being sold across the U.S. I'll show you some classes. If y'all ain't figured this out, only thing the 21st means is Hey, we got to rev it back up and concentrate on the eye, eye what we had. Our, you know, it's time for some change in Walton County. We got to save this county. We got to make sure it stays a nice place to live, and it's a, you know everybody's got a fair shot at everything. And you know that we tell us we're conservatives in this county by nature, and you need to tell us what you're doing with our tax money. So no matter whether you say you're an independent, whether you say you're a Republican, you say whether you're a Democrat. You vote with your actions when you sit in the public office. And those of you calling yourselves Republicans and conservatives and acting like total fools and the, and the reason this country's fallen, we're going to call you out on the Alan Osborne show. So congratulations to Dan Curry. Uh, it will not be Boots. It will not be Trey. And it will not be Chuck sitting on the BCC board. And I'm sure that that was an absolute shocker that not a one of them will be sitting up there. And, you know, as predicted and then called by Alan Osborne, when Chaz Galloway showed up with uh, Dr. Z, Dr. Z, and uh, he's claiming his happy signs. Yeah, are y'all happy that Dr. Z helped keep Tony in office? Just like I said he was, just like Chaz and Shipman wanted him to. I saw that coming. That's the, that was the old Cecilia Jones move, wasn't it? Get enough people in there, right, Cecilia, that you that the incumbent just can't lose. But I've got to go confirm this, but I was told that I don't think Tony won a precinct south of the bay. So that means a guy that owns no property may have lost every precinct around where he works every day. What does that tell you people out in the county about old phony Tony? But fear not, we've got a 20-year-old kid on the, on the mound who's going to run him in the general election. But he's listed as a Democrat, but hell, that's what Tony was most of his life. So let's just get let's get real here. Tony's bought and paid for by the lawyers. And between Dr. Z and just Murano, even the conservatives did not pick Tony. He did not get 50% of the vote. And we only had 30% turnout. And so, again, congratulations to Brad Drake. Congratulations to Dan Curry. And I don't congratulate you, Tony, because your trip's not over. And Mikey... Me and you shall meet, because on the Alan Osborne Show, we shall talk. And we'll start talking about the Alan Osborne Show campaign and where we're going to take it, but we're going to let the dust settle. We're going to let Tony chew on his ethics complaint. And let's watch for the shit show and watch what they try to push through right now. You should be watching every BCC uh, reading, reading the uh, agendas, because they ain't no telling what they're bringing us next. They're going to try to slip it in, and we got to catch them. Donna, Brad, be on your guard. Watch out for Lidewell. We got issues. We got to talk about these things that came up right before the election. 
We got to talk about people's depositions and their interviews that don't match legal documents. There's a lot to talk about on the Alan Osborne show. So the sheriff's race is still up in the air with old Peter Dragon. And, and we got phony Tony and the kid down on 30A, and I'm pulling for the kid. All right, Michael. And I want to tell you something. A shout out to Michael. I walked up to you when I saw you at the BCC meeting one day and said, are you lost, kid? He goes, no, I'm here trying to learn something about government. <laughs> you say what you want. He's one of the few. I remember being a very young, uh, not even a father yet, coming to the adoption of the comprehensive plan in 1996 for Walton County. And then I watched them not follow it and make about 4,000 variances. Thank you, Joe Johnson. Oh boy, you sure helped us out, Joe. I can show you a lot of mistakes you made anytime you want to talk about it. Run out about me, hell, I don't care. Waste your money, boy. I don't know, Joe. You got to go, Joe. But that's the way it is on the Island Osborne show and it's election, but hell, this was just preseason. Now, back to the real thing for you conservatives. Look, we know Trump's going to carry Florida. We know it. But that's not. don't be confident. He's, we lost before. We don't want to just carry Florida. We want to help win the popular vote. And this 30% bullshit, I mean, it's better than we've done, Walton County. But are you telling me only three out of ten people out there that are registered to vote give a shit about this country enough? Are y'all the same people bitching? to get out here and get involved, just vote. I'm not saying be, I'm not saying dig up the dead like the Democrats are gonna do and have them vote twice. But can you go, it's one vote. Y'all get one vote. Can't buy another one, you're not supposed to anyway. But your personal vote, you only get one. Make it count. You know, or, or don't say anything. When the border's open and y'all put Kamala back in there, God forbid, don't forget, you know, what's she going to claim to be part of next? You know, I'm not sure, but I know what she is part of, one of the worst policies. Personally, who cares about the insults? You don't need them, Mr. Trump. Just go after their policies because she doesn't know. I don't, you know, Mr. Trump, President Trump is... Not necessarily somebody you might want your sister to date, but when it comes to what's good for America, he's good for America. His policies are anyway. We don't have to like the people who are president of the United States. For you people, they're just haters. But surely you can see that our past administration has caused, I mean, we, we don't need to make America great again. We may make uh, groceries affordable again. I mean, really. America's... We're falling apart. We're depending on everybody else. Our borders are open. I mean, we got to get back to basics. Look, there's only two groups of people, and that was a point of a lot of things in this race. I bet Nick was shocked he took such a whooping on that. Because Nick, that time, those times, that boat has sailed. And the fact that you couldn't take responsibility for your actions, well, you and Tony still got ethics complaints to deal with, and there'll probably be some other things. But I'm, I'm just telling you, we could do better on the Alan Osborne show. So until next time, that's a rundown of the election. Y'all seriously think about, can we not get 60, 70% of us out to, to the vote in November? I don't care who you vote for. Go out and if you go, go vote against me, but please go vote. I mean, young men and women are laying down in a country somewhere right now for you, people they don't know, just to make sure that you can go vote. So while somebody hands them an MRE in the bag and says, happy holidays, <laughs> welcome to the big show, do it for them. Get up for the veterans, somebody you know in life that served their country overseas, and go vote and protect America. Till next time, I'm Alan Osborne. Y'all keep them straight out there. They can't keep themselves straight. See you in the funny papers. <laughs>